What's up, Lake Central? I'm Jenna Giannini, and welcome back to your sixth installment of LCTV. Let's get into it. Episode, we're going to take a look at some park decorations, finish the lyric, and this year's Angel Tree progress. But first, let's check out some current news. Lake Central Schools have recently made the complete switch to e-learning only. The first day of e-learning for all students was November 18th. This was caused by the rising cases of COVID-19 and the increase in quarantine students. Lake Central School Corporation was at a new district high with 1,600 students quarantined. They were one of the last schools in the area to switch to complete e-learning. The Lake Central page offers e-learning help to students struggling with online schooling. Videos showing how to access Canvas and how to submit assignments help make the tough situation easier. Lake Central's original plan was to open their doors to students again on December 7th. As some may not know, the Munster Community Hospital is now making it mandatory for some essential workers to get the COVID-19 vaccine. On the community hospital website, they display images and ideas of how to prevent COVID-19. They have the safety pledge listed and ways on how to properly wear a face mask. CBS Chicago has also published an article and video describing how it will change. Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine on track for approval as early as the next month, and the community hospital is now getting it. The Indiana State Department of Health has also listed other areas that have gotten the vaccine. The next video clip is the video posted on the website. Community Hospital in Munster, Indiana could be among the first hospitals to give Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to frontline health care workers. The Indiana State Department of Health identified five hospitals, which will be the first to receive doses of the vaccine later this month. They were chosen based on their ability to store the vaccine. Pfizer said Monday, human trials suggest its coronavirus vaccine is 90% effective at preventing COVID-19 infections in people. Katie Johnston for CBS Chicago. Indiana.gov also shows the Indiana COVID-19 data report for the state. It is updated on 11-29-2020 last. Here we can see some of the county distributions. And for Lake County, there's 29,183 cases. Wow, it was very interesting to see how the COVID-19 vaccination is going to be in effect soon in Indiana. Times can be tough, and especially now during COVID. Let's check out this year's food drive. Hi, my name is Ken Puant, and I'm here at Project Love Food Pantry in Cedar Lake. We, uh, we accept donations of all kinds, um, time, volunteer time, money, and of course food. We accept canned goods, we accept uh, dry boxed goods, cereal's always really great, tuna cans are really good, and fruit snacks and anything like that are, are very helpful. You can donate those Monday through Thursday and we always have people here uh, during the day, so right after school we would have somebody here. On Wednesday we operate the distribution, so from 7 a.m. until uh, noon we've got somebody here to hand out the food that gets collected through the week. Um, I feel that it is important to donate to your local food drives to help people in need, especially right now during COVID because we don't have the transportation or access to food like we once had. I think it's important to donate to food drives because it provides what would be otherwise unavailable food and hope to a lot of people that struggle and to get by. Wow, it's really important to donate to the food drive. 
Make sure to donate if you can. Now let's take it over to Katie for this week's sports update. What's up, LC? Welcome to this week's sports update. I'm Katie O'Drovenak, and now here's a little message from our own Cole Thompson. Hey, hey guys. This is Cole Thompson. Welcome to this week's sports update. Our team I'm doing great this season. Go see. Now to roll it into this week's updates. The boys basketball team won their home opener against South Bend, Washington with a final score of 55 to 47. The Indians are set to face the Andrean 59ers this Friday at 7 p.m. The game will be at Andrean. Good luck to the boys. The girls basketball team unfortunately lost in a tight game against Chesterton on Wednesday the 25th. The final score was 36 to 34. The Lady Indians have a big conference matchup this Friday against Maryville. Game is at Maryville and tip off is at 7 p.m. Now let's take a look at this year's swim teams. My name is Megan O'Sullivan, I'm a junior. I've been swimming for about, uh, since I was about eight. So far, I think our team is doing pretty well. I think people have been improving a lot since the start of our season and since preseason. My name is Peter Economopoulos, I'm in 10th grade. About a week I've been swimming and I swam when I was younger in middle school. I think we're doing pretty well. It's gonna be a rough season, but so far it's been pretty good. My name is Jeff Klinsky and I am the head coach of the Lake Central swimming and diving team. You know what, if everybody, if everybody does everything correct, uh, you know, following all the guidelines, we should be okay. Um, there are no guarantees. I, I think if we have one good day of practice, you know, that's what we can do. We, we're shooting for one day at a time. Well, our first meet was our blue and white meet on Saturday, so it's more of a, uh, a relaxed meet. But um, going through our results from the previous year to this past Saturday, we are definitely faster this season than we were last year at the same time. I'm definitely looking forward to the season. I feel like it's going to be a little different, obviously, with everything going on, but I still think we can make it like a great season. We should get closer as a team and bond more because I think that really strengthens the team. Uh, honestly, I think that with the quarantine, we'll still be able to get our practices in. It might be annoying with some quarantines, but I think we'll be able to manage. I think we did pretty well. It was a really close meet and most of us got, uh, we got into a tie. Oh, it can affect it a lot. Um, in swimming, it's one of those sports where if you get quarantined for two weeks, it's almost like starting over. With swimming, it's hard to start where you left off. Uh, it takes a while to get in swimming shape, and once, you, once you're out of the water, it's a challenge to get back. You know, they're out there every single day practicing hard. Um, we could always improve on, you know, basically our starts, turns, um, you know, a little more technique in there. But as a whole, you know, I am pleased with how our kids are practicing this so far this year. I think our meet on Saturday did go pretty well. Um, I feel like there's definitely some stuff that we could all improve on, but I, it did go well for our first meet. forward to the season. I just hope we can get it in. Um, you know, we're still a primarily a young swim team and um, you know, our goal is, you know, to win sectionals uh, as, and that is how it is every year. And each and every year we are getting closer and closer to that goal. We, if everything goes right, we will have an excellent season this year. The swim team was unfortunately quarantined and will not be able to participate in any of their meets for the next two weeks. The wrestling team will be competing in their first tournament this weekend. They will be competing in the Harvest Classic this Saturday. Good luck to the wrestling team. That's it for this week's Sports Update LC. I'm Katie O'Drovenak and we'll see you next time. Wow, thanks Katie. Let's head on over to Prairie West Park to check out the decorations for Christmas. Hey LCTV, it's Alexa and Kenzie and today we're here at the St. John Park on 93rd. We're here to show you guys the Christmas decorations that they put up every year for the holidays.
It's really nice to see how even though COVID-19 has affected so many things, Prairie West Park still decorated to get everyone in the Christmas spirit. Now for everyone's favorite segment, Finish the Lyric. Let's take it on over to Charmy and see how LC students do with finishing the lyric. What's up LC? My name is Charmy Janowski and I'm back with Finish the Lyric. For this Christmas edition, I had you guys finish the lyric and guess the artist for a candy cane. Let's go check it out. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. That was really good. <laughs> okay, I have a challenge for you now. Okay. Do you know who sings that song? Um, I don't know, but I know it's pretty old. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey. I have a challenge for you. Right. Do you know who sang that song? No. <laughs> Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. This year to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. <laughs> Challenge for you guys. This okay, is new. Do you guys know who sang that song? No. Yeah. No. Who? Me. <laughs> who was it? <laughs> I it was. No, that's not. <laughs> Chow, anyway. Oh no. Uh, I just hit a song. Oh, it was Mariah Carey. Oh, what? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. I'm dreaming. Of a white Christmas. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I have a challenge for you guys. Do you guys know who sings that song? Michael Bublé. Yes, you guys get a candy cane. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten. It's glistening once again. With candy canes and silver lanes that glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere, Everywhere you, go. you go. Wait, wait, wait! I have a, I have a challenge. Do you guys know who sings that song? Oh, no. Dude. no. Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> Sam Long. <laughs> wow, Christmas is definitely my favorite time of the year, and it's really cool to see some LC students finish the lyric. Sexual assault is the unconsensual sexual contact or behavior by someone onto another. Some examples of sexual assault include attempted rape, rape, unwanted touching, and forcing a victim to perform sexual acts. If you believe you are a victim of sexual assault, please don't hesitate to reach out for help. And remember, it was not your fault. Grooming is the act of emotionally connecting with someone as a way to convince them to do something. A groomer can be young or old, and male or female. They often commit acts of grooming by making their victims do things like having sexual conversations online or by texting, sending naked photos or videos, also known as sexting, doing something sexual live on webcam, or meeting up in person.
there are steps you should take if you believe you've experienced grooming. Don't send any more photos or videos. Ask the person to stop. Tell an adult you trust and seek a doctor if sexual contact occurred and report it. If you have experienced sexual assault or grooming, here are some hotlines you can reach out to. You should always make sure to keep in check with your mental health. There are many options for you if you need help. Now, let's we'll take a look at this year's Angel Tree Progress. My name is Tia Lopez, I'm a junior, and I am the president of Student Council. And I'm Kate Malish, I'm the secretary, and I'm also a junior. This year, our annual Angel Tree fundraiser will be a little different due to COVID. We are no longer offering in-person tags, but it'll all be available online. We have an Instagram page at, LC, at Lake Central Student Council, and if you scan our QR code, it will directly link you to the website. When you are shopping, make sure to spend $35 at most and try to go below that. Um, some of our requested gifts that we mainly give are a lot of sports equipment, like basketball, soccer balls, and then for girls, a lot of them like dolls. And in order to give the gifts, you can either go directly to the Salvation Army in Munster, or you can just ship the gifts directly to the Salvation Army through the website. We're very thankful for all of you that have donated so far, and we hope more of you donate. Hi, I'm Caitlin Ellis. I teach science here at the high school, and for Angel Tree, I always talk about it every year of my classes. I talk about what it is, I talk about how to be involved, I discuss like what the school's done in the past, what the school's goals are, and then as you know, what students can do to get involved. You pull up the link, you find a kid that you're interested in, and you go Amazon shopping for them. Pull their three items, put them in an Amazon cart, and the neat thing this year is you can have it shipped directly to Munster. These are the only three items these kids are getting for Christmas time. And when you think about your own Christmas, it just, like I said, just kind of hits home, hits to the heart, I would say, that you are gonna get maybe lots of gifts and maybe everything on your wish list, but then there's families out there, and even in our own community, our own corporation, that they're barely making it. Um, and so this is where we as a community, we as Lake Central can have a huge role. Um, and that's why it's called Angel Tree. We are these kids' angels. Last year, we raised like almost $500 we went shopping, and then on top of that, students pulled their own angels. We had almost 200 angels taken out of my own classes, which I think is phenomenal. But once again, it's just because of the passion. It's really cool to see how some Lake Central students are taking a big helping hand and helping with this angel tree. Make sure to donate if you can. Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Jenna Giannini, and I'll see you next time.